Everybody and welcome to She Shays with your host Jill. Yep, I'm your host Jill. So you're wondering what the hell she got on her face? Well, um, it was either Johnny or YMMV. Your mileage may vary. That talked about taking some of the soap beforehand and putting it on your face to um, uh, condition it and whatever. So I did that ahead of time. I left it on there for oh my, it's got to be about five minutes. It's drying out. So anyway, I'm going to uh, rinse that off soon. So tonight is going to be a review, a twofold review. One is going to be on a soap, which is from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Gondolier. And this is a very aromatic soap, a uh, very nice aromatic soap. It's got uh, bergamot, rose, jasmine. Uh, oak moss, corn, citronella, juniper, and cedar in it. Very aromatic. So I bloomed it ahead of time and poured out the um, bloom water in my Captain's Choice shave bowl that I'm going to be using. So that is going to be the soap for the evening. And um, I am doing a brush review. I was contacted by May and... Uh, Asked if I uh, would like to be sent some uh, brushes to review from DS Cosmetics. And this is uh, one of the three. I'll be doing reviews on the other two. I really, really like the handle on this one. It's very tall. It's 85 millimeters tall. And the loft is 60 millimeters. And, of course, it's a resin handle. And it does have their... Uh, logo on the bottom and it's very thin I don't know if you can tell very very thin fibers super thin super thin and I did use it last night uh, what did I use I used uh, Sterling's um, Autumn, Autumn Glory for a leg shave and it worked on that and I wanted to use it on soaps uh, even though it's very fine, uh, it does have backbone, even though it's uh, fine because of the loft and the way it's set, it does have backbone to it, but it is super soft. This, these tips are the softest I've ever had in any brush by far. It is a synthetic 24, this is a 24 or 26, um, but the knot is very, very soft, and I like the way it gra gradiates to the, to the light gray. So that is going to be the brush I'm going to be using. So I did um, a prep on my face with uh, three minutes of hot water, uh, compresses on it, and then I did this on there. So let me take this off and um, we'll get going with the shave. I can't believe it's the end of the week already. Where did this week go? I hope you guys all had a great week. Man, it's time for a weekend. Of course, you all know I'm retired, so every day is a, a weekend for me. Okay. All right, let me get my eyeballs back. So I did want to test this, uh, let's get the brush wet. It's synthetic, so it doesn't need to soak. And I do give it a nice warm soak. All right. And I'm still going to use that um, bloom water that I put separately in my Captain's Choice bowl.
In fact, I'm going to put some right on top of my brush. Okay. So here we go. Let's see how this very, very soft, fine fiber brush can load. Now this is the um, cocum butter formula um, of the soap. I don't have the CK6 of this soap. So it's the cocum butter formula, which is still very, very good in my opinion. Okay, it looks like a pretty good load it got on there without having to um, splay it or anything like that. So let's lay down a paint. Now something I've been doing when I lather more and more is I don't splay my brush out a lot and do that. Um, a lot of the brush manufacturers, and this needs more water. Definitely. A lot of the brush manufacturers, especially for natural hair, Badger and uh, Boar, say that you should just use a back and forth motion. So as not to damage the brush. And I don't need five inches of thick lather. In fact, with certain razors, you want a thinner. Okay, so now let's start some back and forth to see where this lather is going to take us. This soap is very aromatic, cologne -ish. Very fresh smelling. I really loaded that, so I gotta add more water. And we know PAA soaps can take it. It's still very pasty. And when I do load, I only use the tips of it anyway, which is also suggested by the manufacturers. All right, seems we're getting there now. I think that's pretty glossy. This brush is so soft on the face, it's not even funny. I love the color of this one too, but that handle is so comfortable to be able to grasp it because I'm a woman with big hands and I really like the feel of that. You can put your little pinky down on the bottom and it, it's just great for lathering. Okay, let's put that down, and let's tell you, let me rinse my hands off, ooh, that's very slick. Let me tell you what uh, razor and blade I'm using. Tonight I'm going to be using a uh, Vintage Tech, and this is a pre-war gold tech, and I can tell that by the markings on it. It does not have any uh, date codes or anything like that, and um, it was given to me by somebody, uh, 12 fret on um, uh, Badger and Blade forum and it didn't have a handle so what I did is I went to West Coast Shaving and I went to their vintage collection this is handle uh, 84BR and it's all brass solid brass and it's nice and heavy so I'm going to be using that for my razor tonight and the blade that I'm going to be using in it is the Gillette Stainless and this is the uh, red the Gillette Red so let me load that up and what I like about this one uh, vintage razor is in each corner it has those little stoppers to keep the blade in there in a line and of course the middle post so 
So let's take the base plate, put that on, and screw in this handle. Check the alignment. Could use a little adjustment. Okay, that looks good. Very nice razor. All right, let's go with pass one. This Gillette Red Blade is very comfortable. It's got good sharpness, but it's comfortable. I would say it's comfortable like the um, um, vintage uh, Gillette, the spoiler blade. The weight of this handle is so nice, and it wasn't that in, it wasn't that expensive. I still have those boo boos that are healing from the ingrown hairs. Pretty nice so far. I love the scent of the soap. I usually pick out my soap and whatever gear I'm going to use for a video and I will take the soap and I will open it up and sit <laughs> at my computer desk while I'm multitasking and I'll leave it open just to get uh, wafts and an idea as to the scent of the soap. I know I'm weird, right? But I love the way that this particular one um, I ran errands and came back home, put my groceries away and everything away. And I like the way it uh, filled the room with the scent of the soap. Okay, so first pass was, uh, was normal. Still has some up in the fuzzies. I didn't go up very high. My trouble spots, of course, like you guys have, this whole chin area. So, let's rinse that off and go for pass two. The other thing about um, uh, how I started with the rubbing some of the soap on my face and letting it stay there for a few moments is it also gives me a chance to see if I have a reaction to a soap. And we all know that uh, I've had some reactions to particular soaps. So this gives me a chance to do that. I've tried putting a, you know, a bit of the soap behind my ear and that really never did give me a, a good indication as to whether I was going to have a reaction. So this definitely would give me that opportunity. Okay, let's go for pass two. Let's re-wet the brush because it's just loaded. I mean, these tiny fibers really hold a lot of soap. doesn't taste too good though. I love the floral notes in this.
makes it nice and fresh. Okay, so this brush is performing quite well. I was really worried because it's so fine that it wouldn't be able to stand up to a, a soap. I didn't want to have to delegate it to using it only for creams. Okay, now we're getting... Look at that. That's some great lather. <laughs> I'm telling you. Very easy to lather. Okay, clear the snot track. And the lips this time. Get the razor hot. And let's go for... Let's get up here where I missed. And this razor handle kind of resembles... Um, the knurling on it kind of resembles a bamboo shoot uh, there, and it's nice. You can grip it right there. Very easy to hold in the hand. Still very tender here. There is a little overhang on this razor that you have to be aware of. Okay, we're almost there. Nice glide. Okay. Let's rinse that off and go for pass three. So I have, uh, I had done the um, shave mail video on this gondolier and other soaps that I received. And that was over a month ago because I had been taking things out of order for my queue. So I told myself, self, you need to do the stuff you had in your queue from a month ago. So, thusly, Gondolier was my choice for the night. All right, let's do one more pass here. I can't believe how much soap is in there. Look at that. I mean, it's right there in the knot. It's so pasty. I'm really impressed with this brush, and it's so soft. Very, very tiny fibers in it. So I will be posting links down below for, uh, I don't know if I'll post just for this particular brush or all three of them that I'll be reviewing. I'll make up my mind. 
in any case, there will be a link where you can uh, look up these three uh, brushes that I'll be reviewing. Like I said, this one is the... Uh, oh, I didn't write down the number. Sorry. All right, I need even more water. I got enough soap in this brush to do a leg shave after this. Okay. Clear the snot track. And the lips for the final pass. Now that last pass that I did going this way is actually with the grain for me. So the so-called with the grain is actually a is across the grain. So now I'm because these hairs grow kind of like this and like that and all over the place. They're really squirrely there. So now I'll be going this way uh, against the grain on them. Going ass backwards. Try not to open up those places where the ingrown hairs were. This one had several hairs in it. Okay. Nice. This is a nice tech razor, and it's a great combination with that uh, red Gillette. If you've not tried the red Gillette, do yourself a favor. It's a very sleeper of a blade. You don't hear people using it that often. But I'm here to tell you, it's a great blade. Very comfortable, yet very efficient. Okay. It'll feel around. Great slickness to be able to go over this like that and do buffing. It felt very protected with this soap. All right. Let's 
that's it. That's baby butt smooth, everybody. Okay. All right, let me rinse off. Don't go away. Don't touch that dial. And I just realized I left part of my post-shave routine in right next door to me. So as soon as I do my cold rinse, I'm going to run over there and get it. It won't take but a second. Oh, I love the cold rinse. And like you know that I've been doing lately, I've been taking because it is a uh, cleanser has been taking my uh, Thayer's Rose uh, Witch Hazel and doing like a face wash on it to get rid of any of the soap residual and skin residual and it's been working marvelously so I'll do that and rinse okay Dry that a little, and then I shall reapply it. And this is the rose scent, so it goes along with the rose that's in the soap. So my glasses fell on the floor. So hold on, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. No, I can't. I can't find what I was looking for. No light on in there. Anyway, change of plans. Let's go to plan B. <laughs> Let's finish drying this up. So, for an aftershave, I am going to use, uh, and for my final uh, part of my post shave. I'm going to use Barbado because I'm still trying to heal these up. The post shave feel on this is really nice. Even doing the cleansing with the uh, Thayer's, it's really nice. You got to make sure you shake this up. This Barbado is more expensive than others, but it's a huge bottle and it's worth it. And oh, does it give you a burn? Mm 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 mm. I'll even put it through my hair. Oh. Once you get past that initial smell, when you first get it, you don't want a cup in your hands. You don't want to go like that and smell it. <laughs> it will burn your lungs. <laughs> okay. So, that is definitely baby butt smooth. And I didn't tear open any of these uh, boo-boos here at all. Let's put some on the shoulders and the neck. The decollete. Yeah, I'm a champ. Okay, put the top back on that because I don't want to lose any of that barbie dough. Let's do a recap. Today I used the um, pre-war Gillette Tech Vintage Razor with a West Coast shaving uh, handle from their vintage collection and that's handle 84BR and I used the Gillette Red blade in it and the soap that was featured tonight was, where's the top to that soap? Boy, I'm just losing everything here. Anyway, it's the gondolier, where did I put it? It can't have disappeared, it didn't have legs and walk out of the room. Anyway, it was gondolier and the brush that I used and showcased tonight was from DS Cosmetics. And like I said, I'll post a video down there. This is very, very soft, and you saw it lathered up great. There is so much soap left in that knot, and there's still 
a lot in there. It just holds that soap so well. And this is like really thick, really thick. So that gondolier really lathered up nice. And the brush definitely produced. And I didn't think it would. So I've got my lather mittens here. And what I'm going to do now is say goodnight. So I'll post links down below. And I will see you guys in a few days with another review of new products to me. Bye-bye. You guys, you know I love you.